Well, it went from one-of-a-kind luxury liner to warship to wreck at the muddy bottom of the Hudson River. We're talking about the SS Normandy, which is the subject of a new exhibit that opened today at the South Street Seaport Museum here in Manhattan. And here to tell us more about the history of the SS Normandy is William Miller. He's the curator of this new exhibit. So, Mr. Miller, tell me, first of all, how did this, this ship, ship go from a, a floating palace to a warship to the muddy bottom of the Hudson? It was the most magnificent ship of the 1930s, an Art Deco palace. And in 1939, the summer, it was unceremoniously laid up because war clouds were forming in Europe. Uh -huh. And so it was mothballed for two years at the foot of 48th Street, right, just west of us. And after Pearl Harbor, we seized the ship from the French, decided to convert it to a troop ship. And in haste, sparks ignited a fire, which was deadly, but uh -huh. the putting of the water on it caused it to capsize and ruined. Lost to the war effort. And it was scrapped after that, right? Scrapped in Newark, New Jersey, Port Newark, New Jersey. So. Uh, what have you done to sort of resurrect it in theory for this exhibit? What do you have? Well, before she burned, all her great treasures were taken off and put in Navy storage, uh -huh. and they're now in the hands of collectors. So we have over 150 objects, including the Gavo piano, uh, which Marlene Dietrich played in the Deauville suite. We're looking at some of the pictures right now. Of some of the That's stuff the children's there. playroom. There's uh -huh. one of the top first-class cabins. Uh -huh. Every cabin was done in a different decor in first class. She was truly Fred and Ginger on the high seas. And who were you likely to run into when you were, when you were cruising on this ship? Fred Astaire, Salvatore Dali, a Russian Grand Duchess, <laughs> the Hollywood who's who. So this was, how do these ships compare to, to today's, quote, luxury cruise ships? These ships were statements of the nation, meaning that it, this was floating France. Mm -hmm. Everything about the ship reflected French culture, design, style, mm -hmm. you name it. So when she came to New York in those pre-internet days, Americans would say, wow, these French are terrific. We're looking at some very interesting decor here. They had some of the most extraordinary designers of the day. That dining room was longer than the Hall of Mirrors in, in Versailles. Really? That longer ship than the Hall of Mirrors in Versailles? It's had a thousand people at 400 tables. Uh -huh. Who were some of the designers who, who worked on the, the ships? Ruhlman, Dupa, all the top people. Lali, Lali did the yeah. lighting. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So how much of that survived? Well, a good portion of it is around in private hands yeah. today. And so some of it remains, and we're very happy to have it exhibited at the seaport. And we're uh, calling it Deco Dense. Deco Dense. Deco yes, Dense, of course. As yes. opposed to Decadence. Yeah, I like it. I like the name. You have a couple of, of artifacts right here. Yes, this is the 50th anniversary commemorative bronze plaque, and the funnel is a paperweight. All this the, was from the ship? This is from the Normandy? Uh, made afterward, both okay. made afterward. All the good okay. stuff's down at the seaport. Oh, I see. We have to go down to the exhibit. Da down to the exhibit, right. which opened today. It opened today. And, uh, give us the address of the seaport. Real quick. The seaport is down on Fulton Street, just on the East River there near the Brooklyn Bridge. All right. It sounds exciting. And uh, and your your fascination with, with the ships is legendary. You've got probably one of the most extensive collections of photographs, models, books. You've written 65 of them yourself, all on cruise Grew up ships. in a place called Hoboken, New Jersey. <laughs> Well, Watch the ships. How did you become so, uh, how we, how we say, obsessed with cruise ships? Sound of the foghorn and those big liners of the 1950s yeah. and coming and going. Uh -huh. When you sailed to Europe before the jet, so I was fascinated. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in, William. We appreciate it. Thank you, Chuck. Okay. Still ahead as we continue, our cameras are taken where no other.